Hello besties and welcome to Farhad, the show about my life where nothing really happens. Welcome to a special vlog. This is a special vlog for many reasons, but the main reason is it is election time in Australia. Why was I clapping not to the rhythm? <laughs> Uh, what does that mean? So 21st of May is the official election day for Australia. This is our federal election where the people of Australia are going to choose the next Prime Minister to lead us for the next three years. Now like many places around the world, this election is super important and super close and personal to everyone because for the past three years obviously we've been dealing with Miss Rona and the ensuing pandemic and lockdowns and vaccine things and all that sort of shit. And because of that, people are more aware of the role of government in our everyday lives. I don't wanna to get too much into like the actual politics of what's going on, but personally, I think it's well and truly time for a new government. We've had this government for nine years. Nine years the coalition has been in power and in that nine years, it's been shit. Without getting too much into like the actual policies and the actual kind of focuses of each of the different parties. I think the best way to explain to non-Australians how the coalition is trying to stay in power is basically for no reason. There's zero reason at all. They've chosen to have someone run for uh, parliament. And you know, the only reason they picked her is because her whole kind of brand at this point is being anti-trans. And because of her appointment and her defense and the other politicians and our Prime Minister defending her, the whole last six week campaign has been very much, you know, anti-trans rhetoric almost every day. There's always something being talked about about this candidate, there's always something being talked about the trans community, there's always something like to criticize when it comes to LGBTQI plus A issues. <laughs> and it didn't need to happen, like there was no need, there was literally nothing in the past three years that was significant or kind of you know, um, concerning enough for everyday Australians to be like, oh yeah, trans issues, that's at the top of my agenda. It's not, <laughs> it's really not. And it's like, that's a good thing, right? Like it's good to not have to constantly hear like anti-trans rhetoric or anti-LGBT rhetoric. Rhetoric? Oh, it's been a long three years. <laughs> anyway, I am just getting ready to um, basically leave my apartment to go and vote early. As I said, it's Friday and as you all know, that is my day off from work. I don't work on Fridays, I love it. I also have some pretty big news when it comes to my job and my general career. I would put it here, but I wanna turn it into a video where I talk a little bit about career growth and loyalty to companies and that sort of thing. So stick around for that. But today, my dudes, you get an unfiltered vlog with Farhad. That's me. If you don't know who I am, watch my other videos, subscribe to the channel, turn your bell notifications on. And as always, like this video if you enjoy it because Miss Algorithm, she's like out here. She's doing her thing. She's looking at all the likes. She's like, girl, that's got likes. Let's put it on the YouTube front page. Oh, also I did get a haircut pretty recently as you can tell. I just got out of the shower so there's nothing in there right now. It's looking a little bit floppy, but um, yeah, I was complaining a lot about my hair in my last video. So I thought, you know what? Rather than complaining, why don't you just go spend an hour getting a haircut and like just change the things that are pissing you off? Like why are you just sitting here complaining to people on YouTube? They don't want to hear you complain. They want to hear you Actually, I feel like you guys do like to hear me complain. So today's video, I'm gonna take you with me while I go and vote. I don't know how much of it I'll record, but you know, I'm gonna do it, so I may as well take you along with me because I'm doing it by myself because I have no friends. Well, that's not true, all my friends are just working today. I guess that's kind of the downside of not working on a Friday, like all your other friends still are working, so you either have to make new friends who are on your schedule or you just have to do things by yourself. So what are we gonna do today? We're gonna go vote. Well, I'm gonna go vote, but you can you can watch. And then I'm gonna probably just come home and play some video games. This is why I never get anything done. Like, what, what kind of plan is that? Anyway, let's get moving. So how are you guys doing? Oh, I just smacked you into my plant. Say sorry to the plant. Are you sorry? Um, where can I pop you? This is such a horrible angle. I don't know why I thought this would be a good idea. Okay, so I'm just gonna put a jumper on and we're gonna go to the Melbourne Convention Center, which is a little bit down the street from where I live. Uh, there's an early polling booth there. So if you can't vote on actual polling day, which is tomorrow, 
you're allowed to vote early. So I'm gonna do that today because A, I've got the day off and B, I've got some work stuff I have to do anyway tomorrow. So that's kind of annoying. Ugh. This is a really nice like setting. Like you got some green over here, you got some green over here. You got some brown over here. Uh, what am I doing? 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 Oh yeah, we're getting ready to go. Okay. Um, I have decided I'm actually not going to put anything in my hair because it's annoying. And I just like it when it's like soft and fluffy because then I can like get my hands through there and not feel bad about it. What do I need to vote? Do I have to bring anything? Oh, let's do some Googling. Oh. All right, well, this has been the most unhelpful page I've ever seen in my entire life. I think we're done. Uh, this bag is actually a reminder for you guys. All right, I think I'm ready to go. I'm not gonna do anything to my hair. I know it looks a bit crazy, but... It is what it is, my friends. It is what it is. Okay, I'm, I'm going. Let's do this. So as you probably just saw, I have voted today and I feel really, really good about it. And the thing that I want to talk about now is the fact that politics has just become so, so divisive. And I think, you know, a lot of that has to do with the way social media has influenced the way we think about politics and the way we think about each other as people. And you know, there's no perfect candidate. There's no perfect candidate in any election ever in history, really. So when it comes to who you vote for, you have to think about who aligns to your values the closest, right? Who's got the most in line with what you want? Who's got the most in line with, um, you know, your values and what you want to see the government do? So, you know, over the last couple years, particularly over this, you know, last era of the pandemic that we've just gone through and are still kind of going through, oh, it's getting even worse here in Australia now. But anyway, there's been a big rise in candidates whose entire platform really is simply on anti-immigration, pro-racism. And it's kind of frustrating because, you know, these parties really target a group of people who feel kind of ostracized or kind of left out from the general political system because they find their views are not <laughs> mainstream you know they're very against political correctness they're very against you know open and inclusivity they're really against lgbtqia plus matters or representation or even racial or cultural or religious um 
representation. And I understand the frustration. People do respond well to fear. People really do respond well to the other. And you know, it's easy to scare people into doing something than it is to inspire people to do something. So, and you know, it's not a surprise that there is such a big rise in like, you know, pro-racist candidates or, or anti-LGBT candidates or anti-women candidates even. Like, it's crazy. There's been this rise of a particular party in Australia that's very much against, um, <laughs> I would say science. <laughs> you know, they've been very anti-mask, anti-lockdown, you know, thinking that the pandemic was a big hoax by Big Pharma and Bill Gates and all that sort of shit. And at first, like during the pandemic, I thought like when we were in lockdown and when we were in like the big, you know, part of the pandemic that was the worst, like a year or two ago, I kind of just thought of it as like a fringe group, right? I kind of just thought of it as people who were like frustrated with what's happening in their day-to-day -day lives now. But when it comes to post-pandemic, they would start to realize, okay, some of what they're saying is a little bit crazy. But here we are, and I saw so many people holding cards of like this particular party that's very anti-science is the way I want to describe it. And very anti-climate uh, change, you know? Well, not climate, not anti-climate change, but you know, they, they don't think that climate change is real. They think it's a hoax. They think that, you know, the effects like the floods and the bushfires that we've been seeing in Australia are all, you know, just, natural disasters. And they kind of say things like the fires that we've seen in Australia and the recent floodings, which have been devastating. If you haven't heard about them, like you should really go out and Google, you know, what's been happening in Australia over the past few months, particularly around the floods. It's been a challenge. And you know, they're kind of saying, you know, this is just a natural disaster. It is what it is. Like we can't help it. We can't, as humans, have any effect on the weather. We don't have any effect on the climate or any of these kinds of disasters, but you know, if you kind of look to the scientists and look to what's been happening over time and the way the world is warming, I think humans have had a bit of an effect, so... And you know, as much as I want to pretend that like I know anything about the climate, I don't. I'm not a climate scientist. So I'm more than happy to trust the experts who do this every day. Some of my friends who work at like the University of Melbourne's um, you know, meteorolo meteorology department, actual real life scientists who I know and I can talk to about these issues and they can enlighten me on certain issues. Of course I'm gonna trust them over a politician who's trying to get into power, like. I don't really remember what I was talking about, so I'm just gonna wrap this video up. As always, thank you so much if you watched the video all the way through. You are an icon, you're a legend, you are the moment. No matter where you live in the world, make sure you make your vote count whenever your next election is, whether it's at a state or a local or a federal level. Your vote always matters. It really does. Make sure you tell your friends to always vote. Anyway, I hope you're all having a wonderful week. I hope you all had a very lovely weekend or about to have a weekend ahead, depending on when I release this video. <laughs> As always, quick reminders, make sure you like the video if you had a good time. Make sure you subscribe to the channel because then you can stay updated and hit the bell notifications so you get those notifications. Anyway, let me know what you're up to in the comments below. I think that's everything I wanted to say today. So until next time, besties, bye. Missing someone